you? Hello. Hi. Making the rounds. Are you okay? I've been better. What is it? Does anything hurt? My heart. Oh my God. Then you got the doctor of me. You're having an attack. Oh, no, Martin. Not that way. What is it? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, come on. Are we friends? So, what are friends for? Talk to me. I can't. It's about my daughters, and I promised. Oh. Hey, how are we going to find out on your own? One way or another, anyway. What is it? Well, Dean, I really can't tell you, okay? Oh. Look, Tony, I just need you to understand something. I don't want to take sides here. I'm not on Rachel's side. I'm not on Max's. I just want to stay completely impartial. I know you're good. But the problem is, if Max and I don't even got the accident, we have no witness. It's possible. Did you find out anything about the dead man? I have a friend down at the police station. He said he checked the local hospital. He checked everywhere. There is no sign of someone missing or hurt or anything. <sighs> so strange. Mm hmm And did you tell the policeman about Marnie? No. no. I, told him I lied. Like, I had to. I, I told him that one of the staff members saw someone get run over. He bought the whole story. The only thing that was strange to him was that I took everything so personal. Obviously. Max Lee, yeah? Yeah. Yes, I, do. I didn't see him leaving any bag. But then again, I mean, one of the servants could have taken it out to him. But look, Tony, I love you. I've been thinking about all this. I just, I just can't believe that Rachel and Monty are lying. I can't doubt it. But it still disturbs me why she bought into Max's blackmail. She wanted the easy way out. Again. Well, what do you mean by the easy way out again? Oh, well, look, if that's the way you... She makes decisions. If that's the way she leads her life, then she probably did the exact same thing with me. Mac Houser better call someone. I'm getting bored sitting here. Relax, man. We're getting paid good money just for sitting here watching TV. I mean, I used to have a dream about getting a job like this. I need some action. I, I need to get out there and go to a club or something. What for? I mean, if you want a woman, just call anyone. You really don't have to go nowhere. I'm going for a walk, man. You can't, man. Max wants us to sit here on call. I never made that deal with him. You did. Yeah, but you're getting good money paid. So just sit down and you're not going nowhere. Maybe, man. I'm just kidding, man. I just want to get your blood flowing a little bit. Don't, don't try that if you don't want to smack you. Oh boy, I'm shaking. See, man? You need to get out of here, also. Let off some steam. Why don't we go out for a minute, Max? You never know. We can't, man. If Mike's calls and we're not here, the job is gone. So what? You really did, Max, or what? No, but I like his money. Let's just go out for ten minutes, go around the block, get some fresh air. What if he calls? He's not gonna. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. <sighs> She calmed down a little. And Victoria? Well, I haven't seen her since this morning. You told him? Yeah. What did he say? He doesn't believe Max, does he? Look, Alex, this is a complicated situation. How can you say that? Max is lying. How can you be so sure about that? Because I know Rachel's telling the truth.
Did you get the test done? Yeah. What did Dr. Moore say? That he'd have an answer tomorrow or the next day. I mean, what's going to happen tomorrow? I, uh, don't know. No. You didn't turn around? No. I checked the police station, local police report, see if there'd been an accident reported. Nothing. So what are we going to do? We're going to wait. Do you want to go to jail? I don't know. I'm checking right now to see if there's a body. If one shows up, it means that it actually was an accident. We'll get out on bail. Well, did the newspapers know anything yet? They had no accident report. They had no way of knowing. Does your father know about all of this? What kind of man is he? How could he possibly well, he let this... He didn't know about Max. He knew about Marty. I only gave him the key because I, told, I wanted him to throw it away. Well, according to Max, he doesn't know anything about Marty's accident. According to Max, you've been hitting on him since the first day you got here. How can you possibly believe that? You know, Max, he's lying. He seems to be contagious, doesn't he? And Tony, I know that it seems that way. Can't you just understand why? No. I can't. What's worse for you, Rachel? Seeing your family member go to jail or commit adultery? I didn't do it. But you agreed to. I know I did, but... But what? It was only a matter of time, Rachel. If it weren't for Andrew, you'd be off somewhere with Max doing it right now. You kissed him. And according to Andrew, you didn't push him off. You didn't do anything. Well, Andrew is speaking without knowing the facts. If it weren't for Andrew, I'd be a bigger fool than I am right now. What is that? The worst thing for you, Rachel, your biggest fear is to go to jail, isn't that right? Well, that's normal for anybody, isn't it? And you were going to sleep with Max. To keep Marnie safe, and to get yourself off the hook, keep yourself out of jail. You probably did the exact same thing with me. If that was the case, Tony, I would have slept with you from the very first night. No. No, you found a different way, a better way for me to fall for you. How can you possibly doubt my feelings for you right now? Feelings? The only thing I doubt right now, Angel, is your respect, your trust, and every other emotion that we should have for each other. I stuck my neck out on the line for you. I believed in you. I defended you. Max made me do it. If you were the woman that I thought you were, you would have refused his proposals, and you would have refused anything else like this. get over here right away. That's not necessary, Tony. Yes, it is necessary. Because you're very upset. I want him to come over here and check your blood pressure. Have you heard from Max? No, I haven't. Oh, Tony, didn't he tell you? He didn't know anything about Marnie's accident. Didn't he tell you that? Max 
Max has got to get out of the house. Please understand that. Hopefully we can reach some sort of financial agreement with the family of the man that she hit. What about Rachel? If she's carrying my child, she stays. If not, divorce. Victoria is in hers with Dr. Moore, and everybody else is in a terrible mood. Why? There was a huge fight this morning in the living room. Who was fighting? Mr. Tony and Mrs. Rachel were there. Everybody. What were they fighting about? The key. What key? Was Regina the key that was lost? Heck, I don't know. Could you hear what they were saying? All I could hear was the screaming. I wanted to listen, but James was here, so I couldn't. All I can say is that since Mrs. Rachel came to this house, it's not the same. Really? One night, there was a big fight in her bedroom. I don't know what happened, but we had to clean it up the next day. She was sleeping by herself, and now with Mr. Tony. Ain't it strange? She and her family are in the same as the top there. They are a different class of people. Ah, they are the same as everybody else. Really? And how come the old man was in jail? I... What about the time they all ran away with Mr. Max? Who ran away? Who ran away? The old man, Mrs. Rachel and Miss Marnie. Hi, Martin. You gotta know what's going on in this house. Then Mr. Tony locked Mr. Max out of the house. <clears throat> when they first got here, nobody knew that Mr. Tony was married. Nobody. You should have seen the girls. They were dressed real poor. Like you and me. <laughs> Not high society people. Yeah. No. When will he be back? He's out of town. Are you his wife? Yes. Muy bien, Austin. Muy bien. I'm not with the police, so don't worry. Oh. Austin did some work for me, and I really need to see him. Louis sent me. Oh. I'm sorry, but Austin is in Mexico City, and I don't know when he's coming back. It's real important. I really don't know where to reach him. He didn't tell me where he'd be crashing. Is this for another job or something? You know, the pal who's a real good worker. You can really trust the guy, yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me explain what I need. I need a man who either just had an accident or is willing to have one. Comprende? I pay very well. Is that Rachel actually agreed to do this with Max? <laughs> to save Marnie. Yes! I mean, can you believe all of this? <laughs> oh, wow. Now, if you think that Tony is actually going to want this woman after all of this... Uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. I mean, he will if he loves her and if he's willing to forgive her. I doubt that. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's yeah. really interesting is Max's behavior. Oh, I know! Can you believe him trying to get this little tramp in bed? <laughs> yeah, but besides that, it seems like he's just set on messing with Tony. Anyway, I'm also convinced that Max and Rachel knew each other from before. 
That's true. Then everything else makes sense. Now, is there any word from San Francisco yet? No, not yet. Well, what about David Larchmont? Well, we'll be making a call tonight. Okay. Well, I need to know what time that will be because I'm going to be over at Tony's and I wouldn't want to miss David's call. <laughs> Love to say hello. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, it's me. Did you talk to Tony? Did you tell him I had nothing to do with the accident? Yes, but he doesn't want you to come home down there. How could you? What about Rachel? Where is she? She's in her room. Why? Was she going to talk to Tony? She can ask for a divorce or what? That is none of your business. Max has no conscience at all. <sighs> You'll see. The tea will make you feel much better. That's garbage. That stuff never works. That's what before. It hurts. I can't move my legs. I have to be patient, Danielle. I mean, I'm trying everything I can. You think I don't want to take you to the hospital? I do. I just don't have the money. What if I never work again? Pray. I promise you, God will help us. You should have taken me to the hospital right after that truck hit me. You want to go now? Great news. Boy, you won the lottery. You won the lottery. You got me a job. Yeah. As long as Dave is job like last time. Hey, you shut up. You want to get better, no? Yeah, sure, but I don't want my sister. It's not going to be nothing like that. You might never have to work again. Why? Oh, there's this very rich man's going to make you rich. All he needs is a small favor. What kind of favor? All yeah, you have to do is go down to the police station and make a report that Daniel was hit by a car. Oh, I don't understand. Why? Why? That's it. That's all you have to do, and this man will give you loads of cash. Let me see if I understand. I go down to the police station. I file a report, and I say that Danielle was in an accident. But that's exactly what happened. What then? All you have to say is that it happened a few days ago instead of... When did it happen? It'll be two weeks tomorrow. Okay, so all you have to do is just say that it happened a few days ago at about 11 p.m. on my phone Street. But why? Look, if you want the money, that's what you gotta do, okay? I mean, this money's gonna be enough to take care of Anil and to live in comfort for the rest of your life. You wouldn't have to work again. Does that sound good to you? I guess. But why does that man want us to do that? I don't know. I didn't even ask. And anyways, if I would have asked, I don't think he would have said anything to me. So what? Are you doing it or not? What if someone finds out we lie? Nobody's gonna know. Okay? So what? Are you gonna get hit by a car or what? Actually, it was truck. Same thing. Don't be a fool with me, okay? Look, uh, what if someone could tell it was two weeks ago and not five days ago? I asked. He said there's no problem. A few days more, a few days less will make the difference. I mean, it's a whole lot of money we're talking about here. I don't think you want Daniel to be laid up in bed for the rest of his life. The kind of care he's getting right now is not going to get him very far. I don't know. I mean, what if somebody finds out? Hey, this man's thinking rich. Rich people know how to cover up everything. You'll be richer than you ever thought. I don't think you want Daniel to be in bed for the rest of his life. Daniel, say something, please. This is your decision. I'll go with whatever you said. This is the girl I told you about. Good evening. Sit down, please. So your brother was hit by a car, Sally? A truck. Mm -hmm. Did Julie tell you what the deal is? Yes. And? And well, she wants to do it, but she's just afraid, you know, that somebody will find out and... Well, you understand. As long as your brother was here within the last two weeks, we don't have a problem. He was hit, and uh, tomorrow will be two weeks. And you haven't reported him to the police, is that right? No, sir. And there's no use. Uh, the truck, it didn't even stop. 
And my brother didn't even see the license plate number. Now I told them that you were going to pay them really good. I mean, her brother can hardly walk in. Well, that's what you said. That is what I said. I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars. As long as you both understand that if you tell anyone about this or decide to back out of the deal, you won't live long enough to enjoy the money. Comprende? Oh, nobody's gonna say a word, okay? I mean, you can really trust Danny and her brother. They really need the money. So we'll see. Look, maybe it's not that bad. I mean, there's been no report of an accident or, or a dead body anywhere. Marty, I'm sure that the man was just unconscious for a while and then got up and went home. You think so? But why not? I bet you Lewis has made a mistake. Did Tony say anything to the police? No. That's because he's a good man. No, he's not a good man. He's not doing it for us. Not Dad. The only thing he cares about is avoiding a scandal. He doesn't care about us or what other people think. He's only trying to protect himself and the Stockdale name. Oh, Ray, how can you say such a thing? Because he's selfish. He has no understanding of what other people think, of their weaknesses. This, I, I'm just not getting it. I'm sorry. Just, it's no use in explaining anything, okay? Look. It's all my fault. Well, it's a little too late for that now. Rach, when, when do you think I can leave here? I mean, I know Tony said that I have to stay in my room, but nothing's happened yet. Nothing's happened? Well, I mean, nothing. What? You know, it's so amazing how you two can just forget everything so fast. You know what, Marnie? Just do whatever you want. You know, Marnie, your sister's right about that. And nothing major happened. Thank the Lord for that. What you did by leaving the scene is still very wrong. Daddy, she's not upset about that. You know. Know what? Tell you? Tell me what? Next, try to blackmail her into bed. Yeah, he said if she didn't sleep with him, he would blow the whistle on me. I'm the tongue for his face that he's a dirty bastard! Yes, Tony! No! Tony's gonna know about this. Tony knows about it. That's the worst part. Rachel didn't exactly refuse Max's proposal. How can you say that about your sister? Because it's true. Andrew saw them kissing outside of your bedroom. No. No, no, no. I don't believe that. What did Tony do? I don't know, but he is furious. He should be. That bastard. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. Tony wants to know if you're coming to dinner. Could you tell Tony that I'd rather stay here? I'm sure he wants me to stay here anyway. No, I feel they were getting a divorce. Everybody knows. Except me. Excuse me, I think you would rather stay in her room. Fine. Is she still ill? Yes, Maura. Won't Marnie be going in? No, Marnie is still ill also. Excuse me, sir. Dinner is served. Great. It's about time I'm starving.
What's going on? I'll tell you later. Did you ask him if we'd hurt anyone by doing this? Julie said there's no problem. I mean, he just wants to scare someone. <sighs> Nothing's gonna happen. They'll post bail and that's that. Who's the person he wants to scare? Oh, why do we care? They're gonna give us $100,000. I don't have to work at those thinking jobs anymore and you, you're gonna be cured. Yeah, I know, but you know, it's funny and please, if we don't do it, he's gonna find somebody else. And we were found by pure luck, and because Julie's our friend. I'm afraid it will turn out to be a bad thing. I don't think that'll happen. Tomorrow I'll go down to the police station, I'll file a report, I'll tell them you were hit by a car on the street, and that man told me that the person driving the car, nothing will happen to them. He promised me. He said maybe they'll spend one night in, in, in jail, and that's it. Why is this guy doing all this? Maybe... I don't know. You know how... Rich people are the kind of crazy. What's his name? David Larchman. Don't tell anyone. I won't. Really, I won't. Oh, good. Look. I'm happy about this. I mean, you're gonna get better. Aren't you going to make me one? Why should I? Fine. So you're going to at least tell me what's going on around here? Not until you tell me where you... What do you mean? The last time I saw you, you left with that bimbo. I haven't seen you since. What have you been? Aren't we getting a little possessive? I was out, that's all you need to know. Clark, let's get something straight. If we don't change things in our relationship, this marriage is over. No. Look, I've been doing some thinking. I don't think the marriage can keep going this way. We keep going on like this either. I agree. I think we should be kinder to each other. Yes, and to other people as well, like Rachel. Please don't bring that woman into our conversation. Camille, whether you like it or not, she's part of the family now. How can you say that after what they've done? What are you talking about? Marnie. What has Marnie done? Well, if you're spending a little more time at home instead of chasing women all around town, you'd know. I already told you I was by myself. I don't believe you. Why not? You ever heard the saying, cry wolf? Yes, what does that have to do with me? You've lied to me so many times about where you've been and who you've been with. I don't believe you anymore. You've got to believe me this time. yourself to me. You have to show me that you've changed. Camille, I love you. You know that. I know we have trouble with our marriage. And I know we've both done things to hurt each other a lot. But we can make it back the way it was at the beginning. I'd like to try, I promise. She hit a man, she ran him over, and she killed him. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because I don't care what happens to that bitch. I hope she rots in jail and the rest of her family goes with her. I've had it up to here with that family. Camille, they are nice people. You got on with Marnie, didn't you? No. I made that look. You had your eye on her. Maybe, but nothing happened. 
me, why don't you tell me the rest of the story? What exactly happened with Mom? She went out with Lewis. The driver? Yes. Let me get this straight. I'm supposed to talk to her about all the stuff written here? You talk about it as the conversation moves along, okay? Well, what if she hangs up on me? Well, that's just too bad. We'll call tomorrow, and the day after, and the day after that, until we find out the stuff that we want to find out, okay? What kind of stuff? Does Mr. Stockdale have some skeletons in his closet? No, he's pretty boring. But his wife does. Oh, what the hell are you smiling at? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. So I have to pretend I know her. Yeah, you pretend that you know her, but you don't know her personally. What do you mean? Just what I said. You don't know her personally. Somebody else sent you. Who? Someone in San Francisco. Okay. Look, all you have to say is that you know the whole story. And you'll ask for the money being requested by that person in San Francisco. The one that sent you here. The story am I supposed to know? That's none of your business. You just tell her that you know the whole story. That's all you got to know. Fine. Fine. You're the boss. When do I call her? Well, I'll let you know when. Harry didn't do a thing about it. How could he? It's his sister-in-law. House is becoming a haven for murderous thieves. You're exaggerating. It's true. Where's my father to hear? Well, if you found it once here, do the exact same thing Tony's doing. Save the family name. The family name is sinking. What if Rachel has a child? I mean... Can you imagine my nephew with those bloodlines, a drunk for a grandfather and a mother of an aunt? I think you're making a whole lot out of nothing. I mean, what do you want to do, call the police? Yes. Oh, great. Then Tony can throw us out. Ken, you've got to back off. I mean, if Tony doesn't want to do anything about it, neither should we. I could make an anonymous phone call to the police. And drag the Stockdale name through the mouth? Rachel, Marnie, and Max are not my family, and I don't want them. Can we've gone stuff is a rational way of thinking. Or I'll tell Tony myself. You then we'll see how tough you are. You wouldn't dare. Try me. I'm not about to throw it all away because of one of your tantrums, so don't be stupid. You want Rachel to leave the house? Yes. We can make that happen. But let's make sure our theories are true with us. We could end up in an even better financial situation. Well, I'm going to go to bed now. Good night, Mara. Good night, Mara. Good night, guys. Good night. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to bed. Good night, Mara. Nice seeing you. No, I think I'm just going to freshen up my drink and be on my way. It's not too late, is it, Tony? No, it's fine. You know, Andrew's looking very good these days. I'm very surprised he hasn't gotten married yet. Andrew? Yeah? Are you kidding? Not the type. He's way too independent. I would have thought the same thing about you, and then look how that turned out. Tokyo residence, good evening. Can I help you? One woman, please. Excuse me, sir, to call for your wife. Shall I fetch her? Who is it? I'm Mr. David Larchman. She'll take it in her room. Very good, sir. Excuse me. Just one moment. 